Welcome to Off the Cuff, brought to you by Bloglish, our English learning blog. Hi, Annie. Hey, Claire. How are you? Not too bad. Good. I, I was trying to think about what we should talk about today. Exactly, because it's been a while, and the world, our world, the world has changed a lot in the last month. Oh my gosh, things are crazy. And since we last talked, let's see, I had COVID. You did. You started your your new business. I did. Um, war war broke out. War broke out. We, eggs eggs come from the Ukraine. Egg flour, all sorts of things come from Ukraine that we had no idea about. Yeah. There, our electricity has gone through the roof. Oh, it's just crazy, eh? There's been a transportation strike. Yeah, which I wouldn't have even worried about, maybe, or even thought, because I wouldn't be directly affected. But now I am, and I'm suddenly very worried about it. That's right. So there's, I mean, the world is a different world from the last time we talked. Exactly. We way. thought, oh, but pandemic, that's behind us now. Let's have a little uh, respite. And, that's uh, right. And then... And then bang, <laughs> bang. That's right. And and so I was thinking about all these things. I'm like, oh, there's all these like really important things we should talk about. But then it hit me like a punch in the face. What? The topic that we need to talk about today. I think I know where you're heading. <laughs> was it something that happened, you know, between yesterday and today? Yeah. Yes. The the really important events of the Oscars. Exactly. That had punch. That's right. They yeah. had a, had quite a punch this year. Yeah and, yeah. and why did it have such a punch this year? So what do you think the reaction will be? I mean, basically, we're we're kind of we're waking up to it. That's right. And uh, it's going to cause a lot of controversy. And and of course, it's your first reaction. Then you see it again. Then you That's read right. more. Like everything. Then you read more about it. You read more into it. That's right. But uh, I don't know. Do was he right? Uh, was he wrong? Uh, there is something that the spur of the moment reaction, which we all as humans have, and That's we right. all know as parents that if anybody touches or says anything about my child, That's right. I'll punch him. That's right. Justifiably. Exactly. And, no, and, and, like and, a... and a delicate, a delicate thing like alopecia, it's just not funny. No, no. And especially I can only imagine in that spotlight, you know, like that you have that kind of a disease that you... I mean, like, brave enough to go without a wig on uh, to the Oscars. Exactly, exactly, yeah. And, and to have some reference made to it on, in, in that setting, it was just... Yeah, and then at the same time, you think, well, he made jokes about a hundred other people that night, and they should know that that's what the Oscars are about, and... But to, there, there are jokes, but there are jokes, and then there are, bad, there are jokes with bad, with bad taste. And, and oh, yeah, that, totally. That definitely. But I think, I heard on the grapevine, they, they had form, the presenter and, and Will Smith, that, that, that this didn't come out of nothing. Right. Again, this is reading after reading, you know, you know, yeah. after the event, who knows. But, but it was quite, again, it was very spontaneous. And, and Well, okay, so the first time that I heard about it, somebody told me, and they said, Annie, what do you think? You know, do you think he's ruined his career? And I thought, no, no. But then I saw the video and I thought, oh, he doesn't look good, though, in that reaction. No, no, no. no. Especially the language he used afterwards. Well, that's exactly the part that I, I mean, almost was worse yeah. than the hitting because the camera wasn't right on it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then I thought, there must be some kind of history there that yeah, we don't know yeah, about. Yeah. I mean, there's more to this story than just the simplification of yes, him maybe. being angry and having this outburst. There, there must be more yeah, behind yeah. this story. Exactly, because you would expect somebody, again, like in any professional job, to have composure and, and no matter what stress you're put under, which I'm sure he's Will Smith That's right. is used to being under pressure and working under pressure and, and, and yeah. getting bad feed, feedback. And it must really hit him hard. Which, as I say, we, as you, we, we, you know, people offend our families and we do kind of react. We react. Right? We don't hit them. Animal, we usually, animal instinct. Yeah, but we don't actually usually hit people. Yeah, or at least yeah. me personally. Like, I have had outbursts that I'm... You might think about Horribly. About, yeah, that, I mean, that, like, you know, keep me awake at night, the outbursts I've had in my life. You know what I mean? Like, you said something you you didn't want to, you know, you, you were holding something inside for a long time and then it comes out at the wrong yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah. But then he goes up at the stage and punched him in front of the world because the world was watching yeah, the Oscars, yeah, yeah. you know? And 
Whoa. And then, like like you said, the part afterward with him screaming, the camera right on his face, it just was not a good optics. No, 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 no not, a, not at all. And you wonder, how, how do you get out of this? How do, how do you... Oh, that's that'll be interesting. Yeah, yeah. Because he's a very popular actor, has a lot of support. Yeah, and unfortunately, or fortunately or unfortunately, I'm not sure, but like, you know, he, some of his popularity came from, he was the first rap artist that did not use derogatory names towards women that didn't use swear words in his in yeah, his lyrics. Yeah. So to see him in this light, yeah, screaming yeah. swear words in an open public forum. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, it's 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 hard to believe it was premeditated. The, oh, it definitely was not premeditated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's it's hard because he had this image of being this really positive black male uh, role model role model for Thousands yeah, and thousands yeah, of people. Yeah, yeah. So, if, oh, I don't know how he gets out of this one. Yeah, yeah. I hope he does. I hope he does. I hope he does. And I, and I do feel for his wife because, as I mean, oh, she yeah. obviously was very affected by it. Yes. And again, we're back to the whole thing again. Like, nobody's perfect. I mean, we all have our... That's um, right. You know, we, talk, we, we speak openly about things. We try and, you know... Talk about all these these different problems that people have. And we're all aware of mental awareness. But are we? I know, right? But then we're still using them as butts of jokes. No? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I was thinking, like, how does Chris Rock, conti- Chris Rock is the comedian, how does he continue to do the Oscars after being punched in the face? Yeah. I mean... Well, I think he's, he's, he, it was a, 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 a knee-jerk reaction. He, he just... Yeah. First of all, shock. That's right. And then he just That's carried right. on. I'm exactly, sure it was probably exactly. two hours later when he suddenly touched his jaw and went, well, what exactly? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> why is this hurting there? so much? Yeah, 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 because it was a it was a moment. Yeah, it was a yeah. it was a slap and a half. It was, it was, it was. Yeah. Yeah. But it's, again, you know, it brought a bit of life to the Oscars, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, it's interesting because, like, if you think about it, even in our little lives right now, like, don't at least me personally, I feel like people are explosive. Well, there is an element of that at the moment. Yeah. People are like, well, I mean, are you surprised? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's what I mean. Like, I feel like everyone is like a boiling pot of water these days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're all like at the point of exploding if we don't kind of like talk things out or look for another answer yeah. or I don't know. So he'll have to somehow figure out how to get past this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm already past it. I'm done. Exactly. I've, exactly. I've talked about yeah, it. I'm yeah, done yeah, with it. Yeah. So, that, no. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So moving, so, moving, moving on to our future. No? That's right. Yeah. What, what's going? Tell, tell us about your business. Well, it's going well. It's, it's you know adapting to village life, adapting to wow. a whole new area of business. Right. Very challenging. But uh, there has been some highs in the sense that two weeks ago we had this uh, famous. <gasps> um, he he presents documentaries traveling by train all around the world. He's an ex cool. British uh, conservative, Michael Portillo. He came and had lunch in my ha- in my hotel, in my oh restaurant. My great. And that was really nice. That and he didn't really punch nice. anyone, right? No, he was very polite, oh. very gentlemanly. Very hey, nice. Congratulations. He was lunch and, yeah, Your first yeah. famous person. Yeah. yeah. The first, first of many. many. Yes. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we hope so. And so now Easter. Great. And hopefully we'll get we'll get lots of business at Easter, tourists and people passing by and it's got magic. It's a, it's a it magic it's a magical area. Great. Yeah. Oh, that's excellent. How exciting. Okay, so we we'll talk again after the Easter holidays and see if life has been as exciting as it has been in the last uh, few months. That's right. That's right. With positive things. That's right. That would yeah. be nice. Okay. All right. Take care. You too. Bye. Bye.